I've got to start getting dinner ready again. I don't want to. My name is Midori. I ended up quitting my remote work for some reasons, and I'm now a stay-at-home housewife. The some reasons from earlier is for my husband, Kazuyoshi. Man, dinner isn't good at all today either. I think you've gotten worse because you've just been doing stay-at-home work this whole time, huh? No way. I followed the recipe perfectly, though. Did you try it? Yeah, I'm eating the exact same thing you are right now, too, but it's really good. Maybe remote work is screwing up your sense of taste, too, huh? I don't think that's doing anything to my sense of taste. Just make sure you do a little better. You're a stay-at-home wife, for Christ's sake. Come on, let's do a cooking class or something. S sorry we don't have the kind of money to spare on going to a freaking cooking class. All he did is complain about food all the time. He wasn't like this a little while ago, though. He was a lot easier going, and more than anything, he was a kind person, but... We met through a mutual friend. I met him while I was still in art school. This is Kazuyoshi-kun! Hello, I'm Kazuyoshi. You must be Midori-san, right? Yes, nice to meet you. Kazuyoshi-kun was cheated on because he was just too devoted to his girlfriend! Huh? Really? It's a little embarrassing to talk about, but yes. But come on, Asahi-chan. You can't be talking about that right off the bat. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Kazuyoshi-kun had cleaned and done the laundry, everything for his girlfriend every day. I probably shouldn't say that either, huh? You're literally saying it right now. I see. You're a kind person. I was just doing something that everyone does. He just couldn't stand that life and he just exploded one day, right? That very same day, his ex ended up running away to her other boyfriend. Please don't just tell her everything. I don't want you to just announce all of my horrible history. Like it's just free real estate. But this man is really good and considerate. Would you like something to drink? Please, go first. Make sure to watch your step on these stairs. What a gentleman! It's almost a waste for me to introduce him to you, Midori. That's true. He might be too good for me. Midori is pretty rough around the edges and forgets things often. She's not good for anything except drawing things. You don't have to talk that bad about me, do you? But now here she is, talking about how she wants a boyfriend or something. Are you trying to get us together or not? I totally am. I'm dead serious about this. I think you two are seriously perfect for each other. The hard-working Midori and gentleman Kazuyoshi, you're perfect for each other. Um, since we've already met and whatnot, why don't we just go out as friends and hang out once? See how things are. Huh? Uh, are you sure though? Yes, I'd love to go out with you. If you guys end up getting together, you both better pay me some good money. My friend Asahi introduced him to me and we went out at first as friends. But we ended up actually hitting it off. We quickly started dating and after four years, we got married. We started living together as husband and wife, but... This is my stationery store that my parents run. Wow, it smells so nostalgic somehow. There were a lot of stationery stores before. But before I knew it, we were the only ones that were left. Yeah, you really don't see them around anymore. Ah, this pen! I saw it on TV the other day. It was supposed to be known for being super easy to use. Yeah, we started selling online recently, but the sales aren't really improving much. I see. That's why I just wanted to let you know that if we get married, I might not be able to make things easier on us financially. That's totally fine. I'm going to earn money with my drawings. Let's both work hard, huh? It's kind of embarrassing having my wife support me like that. Oh, come on. All men and women have to support each other nowadays. I'm going to do my best to support you too, Kazuyoshi. R really? I don't want these classic mom and pop stationery stores to just disappear. You still have elementary schoolers showing up to buy stuff, right? Yeah, totally. I Maybe mean, it's because we sell snacks and stuff too, but sometimes it's like freaking playground in here. <laughs> you can't lose that kind of atmosphere, okay? You can be the key location that brings together the whole area, okay? I think that kind of existence is really beautiful. That's true. Thank you so much, Midori. Oh, please. I haven't done anything that's worthy of being thanked. There are actually a few people who wanted to break up with me after I told them that I was planning on inheriting the store, so... You know, I'm just really happy to hear you'll stick around. I see. Oh, but in return for me supporting you, you have to make all the stuff I need to draw cheap, huh? Of course! Wifey discount, huh? <laughs> that 
that's how Kazuyoshi and I continued to work together even after we got married. But shortly after we got married, COVID struck the world and Kazuyoshi was making even less money than before. I, on the other hand, was able to make money even while staying at home, so we were to the point where we could even start saving money as a household. Oh my god, I can't believe that he'd inherit that freaking stationery store! I mean, there were a lot of people that were against it, but it's such a beautiful store that I really just want them to keep it going. But I'm sure it's gotta be pretty tough with COVID and quarantine and such, right? Yeah, there are almost no customers that are actually coming in. They only make sales through their online market. Well, how are things going with your art? They're going really well. I'm making a lot of money making home pages and designing mascots and whatnot. You'd be surprised. Well, well, I guess I shouldn't expect anything else from the valedictorian of the art university. And on top of that, you're supporting your husband? You are seriously incredible. Pretty normal, I think. Does your husband do all the chores at home or something? Thankfully, yeah. I see. He's a really kind husband, isn't he? He says he makes less money, so he wants me to rely on him for the chores. Isn't that sweet? I see. Hmm. What is it? Nothing. I just hope that he's not, like, pushing himself too much, you know? Pushing himself? Yeah, he might be thinking that he doesn't make much money or something, and he's pushing himself, you know? I guess I can ask him sometime. I guess he's always smiling and doing the chores without any complaints. He might be super stressed out, you know? He might explode like he did before. No, I guarantee you he's going to. He's going to explode. You need to ask him if you want to split the chores or something for sure. That's true. He did explode before. Uh, I'll try asking him. Asahi's worries were totally spot on. Kazuyoshi had always been the type to really devote himself to people, but devoting himself was the same thing as constantly worrying about someone. There's a really good chance that he's very stressed out. This is what I heard about later, but apparently Kazuyoshi had been complaining to his childhood best friend. Aw oh, man, drinking with you is seriously the best thing ever. Same here, Kazuyoshi. Yeah, I wish I could hang out with you and drink every day. Dude, seriously. I can't though, cause you know, I've got a wife at home. You're still doing that thing like you're some kind of stay-at-home housewife or something. Yeah, I do the laundry. I wash the dishes, I make food, and I clean. Sometimes my wife helps me out, but... I feel so bad for you, buddy. You're totally whipped. Tame, like a neuter lion. I mean, she makes more money, so what am I supposed to do? Hey, Kazuyoshi, you're a stationary store owner, right? And that story has been passed down to you for generations, right? Yeah? You should quit working as a stay-at-home wife and have your wife be the housewife. Then you could completely pull all of your focus to your stationary store. No, no, no. My wife is in the middle of popping off as an artist, though. Dude, how embarrassing is it that your wife is the one putting bread on the table, though? Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I bet your wife thinks so low of you, bro. Y you think so? She definitely looks down on you. You're just doing the chores around the house without any question. And she's probably abusing that to make sure she feels great about herself. I really don't think she's that kind of bad person. No, no. I know for sure. Some of your exes were like that too. You were just so devoted that she went and screwed another guy. That's... You need to stop being whipped by women already. Make her quit her stupid freaking job. You need to make your stationary store pop off and make her learn her place, huh? Uh... Dude, I'm your childhood friend. You know what I'm saying is true. You're being looked down on. Just like your ex-girlfriends. Uh, I'll talk to my wife about it. You can't get by with just a stationary store. So just start a Takayoki store or something, bro. I'll help you out too. I guarantee you a pancake store is going to be such a bigger hit than anything. Everyone wants that nostalgic flavor. A pancake store, huh? But it's the middle of COVID quarantine and stuff. That's exactly why we need to make delivery pancakes a thing, bro. Yeah, I guess they'll want to eat nostalgic flavor, huh? Huh? You want me to quit my remote work and become a housewife? Yeah, I know that it's kind of a tall order for you, but for my dream, I just want you to focus on supporting me for a year or two. Y your dream? I want to make the country's greatest stationery store and pancake store. Pancakes? Honestly, I don't think that I'm going to be able to earn enough money from just the stationery store. However, if I have two sources of income, I should be fine. The pancake store is going to be split between my childhood best friend too. 
I see, but I'll help out around the house too, so can we just work together? It's not good enough. I want to focus on things and make my business grow and focus on higher levels. I want to make it so that you're comfortable. Please, I'm begging you that you just let me focus and you stay a housewife. If you're that intent on making things work... You're okay with it? Yeah, I've just been letting you handle all the chores and stuff, so I wanted to support you anyway. I felt bad for making you all devoted to me, so I want to repay you too. Midori, thank you so much. I'll do my best. Yeah, that's how I became a housewife to try to support Kazu Yoshi in his business. However, I was pretty popular to begin with, so there were quite a few fans that were sad to see me just completely quit. I ended up saying that I was going to take a temporary break from my artist activities. It was pretty expensive to start the pancake business, so we struggled quite a bit at first, but seeing his hardworking face every day made me forget all about the suffering. Ah, uh, I've been making him devote himself a bit too much. I know that I was making a lot of money, but doing the chores is seriously a pain in the butt. I feel so bad for him. I'm sure that his business is going to be successful, and happiness is right around the corner. That's what I believed. However, one year later... Hey, this tastes really bland today, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. Sorry about that. I might have messed up the seasoning. <sighs> I was so hungry, though. Sorry. I should have just done it instead. Also, the sofa is seriously all torn up. Can you go buy a new one already? Uh, I would love to buy a new one, but I don't have the money. Huh? You trying to say that I don't make a lot of money or something? That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I'll buy a new one. Yeah, do that. You know this kind of thing leads to me being less motivated? I just don't want to work at all with that crap. Ah, <sighs> talk about stress. Your wife? Yeah, she's a freaking housewife, but she won't do housewife things correctly at all. You're working so hard, right? But she won't do everything at home. Yeah, I'm sure that's frustrating. When I was taking care of the house, I seriously felt like everything was so nice and easy. It's so easy to do, and yet she's struggling to do it so bad. What a pity. You know, I actually got a divorce yesterday. Huh? Really? I got so annoyed with how my wife was looking at me. I feel like she was acting so special when we started the pancake store. True, though. Her flavors would be too bland or way too strong, and she wouldn't clean up the house correctly. And I just thought to myself, maybe she's intentionally trying to drag me down to her level, you know? Intentionally? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Despite me, probably. Like, I make more money than you, but I'm supporting you kind of thing. That's annoying. Why the hell does she think that you're working, huh? Dude, seriously? You should make sure that you aren't messed with either. You make sure you understand who wears the pants and who's really the man of the house. Hell yeah! My husband listened to everything that his childhood friend said and he started to treat me horribly. And it continued to get worse. Hey! There are holes in these clothes. No way! Sorry, I'll sew it, okay? Huh? Don't be so freaking stingy and poor. Go buy a new shirt. Hey, dust! You need to be freaking vacuuming correctly. Sorry, the vacuum is so old and I couldn't get into the corners. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. This is so gross. What the hell is this? I think I made it well. You said that before too. How about you actually work hard, you freaking housewife? I've been asking my mom to help me out, but I'm sorry. I haven't been improving to your standards. This job isn't even something like me when you got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Why are you so bad at it? Do you even want to do this correctly? I'm just going to be honest with you. Huh? What? Doing everything around the house perfectly is going to be difficult without buying new furniture to replace the beat up ones. Then just go buy them. I don't have money. That's why I was hoping that you'd let me start working from home again. I'll do my best as a housewife too. You're going to complain to me about my income like that, huh? Yeah, do whatever you want. Kazuyoshi, we were barely scraping by with the current amount of money we had. We were about to reach rock bottom for savings as well, and no matter how much we cut corners, we were still bleeding money. At this point, there was nothing we could do other than for me to restart my remote work at home. Working while being a housewife was incredibly difficult. Hey! I'm home, so you need to welcome me at the entrance, dammit. Sorry, I was just so into drawing my work. Baff. I'll go heat it up real quick. 
You should have been nice and warm for me from the moment I got home. What the hell are you doing? So sorry. Must be nice for you being a housewife. You don't have any pressure on your shoulders at all. But yet you make these mistakes. You're unsavable. I, I work from home. Shut your housewife mouth. Do not talk back to me. I was suffering every day so much that I just had to talk to Asahi about it. Asahi always listened quietly to me. But eventually, Asahi said, I think you're at your limit already. Huh? You're able to live life on your own, but Kazuyoshi is kind of dragging you down, isn't he? I don't think... The fact that he made you quit your remote work and he forced you to just be a housewife. The fact that he's become even more strict after you started your remote work. I bet you it's all his pride talking. Pride? I don't know. This is all just me guessing. But I think that the reason he explodes when he devotes himself is because deep down, he's got a lot of pride, you know? I don't know about that. I think that if you talk to him about this seriously and nothing changes and you're still suffering, then you should really just consider living alone. I'm home. Where the hell have you been this whole time, huh? Get in the kitchen already. Kazuyoshi, why are you already home? It's a weekday. Huh? I'm free to do what I want. Well, what about your job? I'm free to do what I want. Kazuyoshi, how do you feel about me right now? Huh? Do you love me? The hell are you talking about? I was just curious. I've been working my butt off as a housewife. I think I've been working really hard, but you're asking me to be perfect and flawless. Of course I am. It's super easy being a housewife. That's not easy to do. You were upset because you had to do housewife stuff and it was getting in the way of your business too. Huh? Doing chores is really long and tiring. I don't think there are many people in the world that enjoy doing things around the house. You were probably tired too, so you went out to drink with your friends. That's why you asked me to do the chores at one point. You are probably the one that understands how difficult it is the most, right? I'm really sorry that I didn't help you out with the chores before. From now on, I want to work together. Shut your face! Huh? You're talking like you just got everything figured out, huh? Like hell if I'm going to be splitting the household stuff with you. You just shut the hell up and serve me. Devote everything to me. If you ever speak up to me again, you know what's coming your way? Huh? Serve me food! Food! Okay. I'm over it. Goodbye. Huh? Hey! Midori! I heard something snap inside of me at this point. I don't really remember what happened after that. The next thing I remember, I was at my parents' house and I just grabbed my mom talking about everything that had happened to me. I kept getting calls from Kazuyoshi, but I never answered the phone. Later, when Kazuyoshi wasn't home, I went back and grabbed all of my stuff and the tools I needed to draw. That bitch seriously ran out on me. No way! <sighs> I never want to see her face again. You've really changed, haven't you? You think so? You've got an insane amount of pride, don't you? How? Yeah, I've got something to talk to you about. You have actually taken out a loan from some loan sharks. And I didn't make the return deadline, so I'm being forced to go to the North and Atlantic Seas to fish for them. Huh? So today is going to be the last day that I'm working at this pancake store and talking to you. Good luck, Godspeed. You make this the biggest and greatest pancake store around. Wait, hang on, what? If you're not around... Ah, there's my ride. Tsuyoshi! Tsuyoshi! Three years later, I had become independent as an artist and was making stable income. I had a great life. Congratulations, Midori! I heard that you're tasked to design the Olympic logo, huh? You really are this nation's greatest! <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? Who is this? Hello? Huh? Kazuyoshi is... Kazuyoshi? Yo. <coughs> How are you? Apparently I'm not doing too well. But... I heard that you were going to be designing the Olympic logo, huh? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I just left and didn't come back. I don't blame you. It was my fault, right? I'm sorry that I just let myself explode like that. I'm really sorry. Hmm. You're probably just saying that. Huh? 
I'm sure they probably just came by to brag about the fact that you were chosen to design the Olympics logo. You've just always looked down on me like that the whole time. Kazuyoshi? If Tsuyoshi was here. If only he'd been around. Damn it! Tsuyoshi? As in your friend? Yeah! He used to understand all my troubles. My worries. He was the one that invited me to do the pancake store. He was the one that gave me the advice that you were probably looking down on me too. So Tsuyoshi! Ah... Uh. That's the person that is responsible for making your pride take a twisted turn. I don't even want to see your face. Get the hell out of my room. Okay, I'm going to bring the divorce papers soon, so I want you to sign them. Goodbye. That's how Kazuyoshi and I got a divorce. Neither of us sued each other for damages, and there was no split wealth. We already lived separately, so there were no problems at all. Two months after the divorce, Kazuyoshi died. He was a huge clump of ego and pride till the very end, and irredeemable. I still think about if there was something I could have done for him while working as an artist. But I'm sure there was nothing to do or be done. There are really people that look down on women and housewives in this world. If there is a way to change those people's logic, then I really wish they teach it in school. Thank you.